I will be talking on muscle pullies, the current concepts. Muscle pullies are structures of connective tissue and smooth muscles that connect the extraocular muscles to the orbital wall located behind the equator and they act as secondary origin of the rectus muscle. And uh, the, this is the birth of a new concept was given by Joseph Demma et al. And uh, according to him uh, and by histological analysis, we have found that the each rectus muscle has got a global layer and orbital layer and the orbital layer inserts to the pulley. And these pulleys shift positions during contraction and relaxation of the extraocular muscles, dynamically changing the biomechanics. And uh, my talk is uh, based on these uh, different articles published by Dr. Demmer, uh, Clark et al., uh, Rosenbaum, etc. And uh, disorders in the location and stability of the pulleys can create patterns of incomitant strabismus that may mimic oblique muscle dysfunction or cranial nerve palsies. There are different types of pulley pathology. There may be pulley heterotropy or displacement or pulley instability. This can be diagnosed by orbital imaging. Pulley abnormalities can be developmental like in abnormalities of orbital anatomy, craniosynostosis syndromes or in acquired disorders. The, in acquired disorders, there are four different categories. Uh, it could be connective tissue disorders like Marfan syndrome, Ehlers-Danlos or globe size disorders as in high myopia, senile degeneration like uh, sagging eye syndrome and in different types of traumas. Uh, this is the coronal MRI uh, of a normal person. First, first picture is of a normal person. You can see a normal arrangement of the superior rectus, medial rectus, inferior rectus and lateral rectus and the two diagrammatic representations show displacement of the muscles due to pulley problems. AV pattern also can be caused by pulley displacement. In A pattern, the lateral rectus pulley is superior and in V pattern, medial rectus pulley is superior in relation to the other muscle. In Y pattern, it could be a superior rectus pulley displaced laterally and lateral rectus pulley displaced downwards. And uh, how will you diagnose a pulley abnormality? It's very difficult to diagnose uh, when you get a poor response to a standard surgical procedure, you can think that there may be some pulley abnormality. Of, and another thing is that before surgery, observe the position of the medial canthus, lateral canthus and the globe. If there is some asymmetry, then you can think that there could be some problem. And of course, you can do a, uh, orbital imaging and also you can look at the upper lid. Upper lid crease may be deep in case of pulley abnormality. And in acute uh, axial, uh, in axial myopia with uh, acute esotropia, the history is always there. And coming to some surgical procedures of pulley abnormality, uh, one thing to note is that optimum treatment for pulley abnormalities is yet to be established. There are novel techniques that reposition and stabilize the pulley uh, within the orbit, like equatorial myopexy, pulley posterior fixation, etc. You can use permanent scleral switches or silicon bands. This is the loop myopexy, very popular in axial, uh, high axial myopia with uh, sudden onset of esotropia. This is the EMEDAS procedure in which there is hemi-transposition of superior rectus and lateral rectus. This surgery is very popular nowadays. And uh, uh, the same condition of uh, extreme esotropia in axial myopia can be treated by the Yokoyama's procedure, that is um, uh, looping of the superior rectus and lateral rectus with a uh, silicon band. And the pulley posterior fixation is another surgery which is very effective, mainly done for convergence excess ET, where there is a distance near uh, disparity. For example, so look at this child who has got a distance ET of 30 prism diopters, near angle is much more, 45, and it is a partially accommodative deviation. In this case, if you do a standard surgery, either you will undercorrect for uh, undercorrect for near or overcorrection for distance. That is a possible thing with a medial rectus recession. So, uh, so we, uh, if you combine pulley surgery along with the medial rectus recession, the surgical result will be better. This is a, uh, this is a video showing the uh, medial rectus recession uh, be going to be completed. Medial rectus is uh, in, in an isotropia 
uh, I have completed the medial rectus recession and now, now I am searching for the pulley. It is very difficult to identify the pulley. Uh, you have to go behind, at least 12 millimeters behind the insertion, pass your muscle hook and uh, search for the pulley. The pulley is identified by its resistance and a particular white uh, glistening appearance you can, which you can see now. When the, uh, the, that's a white glistening appearance which is uh, different from the, uh, the rest of the fascia and once you identify and once you make sure that uh, it may be related to the pulley, you cannot be 100% sure but uh, the fascia there which is adherent to the muscle and that is a particular color and uh, resistance to pulling, then uh, you identify it and then you pass a non-absorbable suture through the pulley non-absorbable suture and then pass the suture again through the muscle much anterior so that when you put the uh, suture uh, about 4 millimeters behind the uh, new insertion like this you are pulling the pu uh, pulley anterior and making the pulley very tight so similarly you can do the same thing in the other other side of the middle rectus muscle and uh, it's an easy procedure uh, the surgical uh, results I will show you postoperative orthophoria uh, for near and distance the pattern is collapsed. So this is a good surgery and uh, this will reduce the uh, need for Faden surgery. Faden will is a little more difficult. It involves scleral sutures. The risk of scleral perforation is there in Faden. Here in posterior fixation there is no such thing. Another indication for pulley surgery is the sagging eye syndrome. Sagging eye syndrome usually occurs in old age. Patients present with a divergence paralysis isotropia. For distance, there will be isotropia and diplopia, small angle isotropia. Okay, and we are very short of time. Okay. Uh, yes. And in that case, uh, you can do uh, LR resection with equatorial myopexy. And to, to conclude, I will say that we have made only a start in this direction. And new procedures than those currently available to treat, treat strabismus and related disorders may emerge shortly. Thank you.